Hey everybody, uh, I got this email that came in that says, hey Mark, I'm doing a test for a company and I'm stuck because I don't know how to access a custom form from the following URL, craft-fair slash m2-test. My router.xml file is okay and it has the craft-fair route. How do I access a routes, router's controller with a dash in the name like m2-test? I have it working but without the dash, but the requirements are to have a dash in the URL. And the answer to this isn't quite that simple. Uh, this actually isn't possible out of the box because Magento uh, works on the naming structure of files for uh, controller actions. Um, there is no capability to have a dash in the URL. So I figured I'll show you how to do just that in a custom module. Okay, our first step is to create a module for this custom router. Uh, so I'll go ahead and create a new folder and name this Mark Schust slash dash router. And I will create a new registration.php file and populate this. And same for the composer.json file into composer. And for the Etsy slash module.xml file, there we go. If you wonder how I generated that so fast, uh, check out Beeline. Saw it. It's a great um, little live template creator that can generate code snippets for you really quickly. And just like that, I created the module, and we can go ahead and enable it with bin slash Magento module enable Mark Schust dash router. And now it's all enabled. So our first step is to actually create this router. Routers are defined in the Etsy directory in a front end directory, and it looks at di.xml files. So we will go ahead and create that, and then we will populate the uh, root of a di.xml file. And the first uh, node we have to create is a type node, and this will have the name of Magento Framework App Router List. And this class accepts any number of arguments, uh, and the argument is actually the router that we are adding to this router list. So we will create an arguments node, and the first argument is named router list, and that is an XSI type of array. And the first item we're going to pass is the name of our router. So I'm just going to name this dash router. And this will have an XSI type of array. And next comes the class and the load order of the router that we are creating. Um, this will have an item node with the name of class and the XSI type of string. And we are just passing in the string of the class name, not the actual class object itself. Uh, so this will be located at uh, a file we are going to create. Let's create it right now. And this will go, uh, it can go really anywhere, but I will put it in a router directory and I'll name this dash router.php. So we need to reference this file in this uh, class string argument. So we will, Reference it with Mark Schust dash router router dash router. A little repetitious, but uh, it'll work. Just go with it. And next, we will create a new item node with the name of sort order. This will have an XSI type of string. And the value for this is equal to the load order uh, of when we want to actually load our router. If we check out the routing documentation on the dev docs and scroll down, we'll see the uh, router class documentation and it has these front end area routers along with a sort order defined in it. Uh, so we actually don't want to run our router until uh, the first few routers get kicked off, which is the routers, the URL rewrite and the standard router. Uh, next comes the CMS router, which uh, you can see the sort order jumps to 60. So that sort of tells you that that's where the place uh, is that you'd want to load your custom router. So a good number for this is probably just 40. 
uh, just prefix it gives us some space for other routers to be added in later uh, but uh, yeah it comes directly after this standard router so we will set this to 40 and go ahead and save our file and our router.xml file is now all set now we will go ahead and populate this dash router uh, class so this is a standard php file we will declare strict types which is what i like to do with every single file i create in magento and the namespace for this will be mark schust dash router router and the class name will be dash router and this will extend the base router which if we type in base and then look for magento framework app router this is the class we will be extending that provides some base functionality of routing and the next step is to actually probably look into this base router to find out actually how we will modify this uh, so let's look through this file it's just standard constructor that just injects some dependencies we have this match function which is typically where you would plug in a router to uh, but it's actually uh, if we keep growing and scroll down we'll see this parse request function and this is interesting because um, this will process the it, it'll look for the string and it breaks out the parameters uh, into another uh, array and then passes that array back uh, with the listed parameters of the request and if we look this this match option just takes those parameters and then parses the action or the request and returns an action uh, but I thought a better way to do this what we want to do actually is um, I thought of a pretty cool way to handle this routing so when when you create an actual controller uh, let's let's look at that example so um, let's create another controller here called controller index index.php that's pretty much what we would name it and the problem with magento is that we can't have dashes in the url because this works off of uh, psr4 which loads uh, php classes so we can't just do dash uh, my test right or dash test this is not a valid class file because it has a dash in the file name so i thought it would be cool we, we need a way to to modify this functionality and make it work so what i thought of i thought it would be pretty cool to instead of uh, typing out dash i'll just explain it in a string dash right because you're probably never going to use that uh, in a controller name at least not that frequently or if you do it's easy to update so using index dash test in the actual file name of the action would provide a way for you to actually respond to that request and then send it over to this controller action so let's go back to our base uh, this base function we want to hook into this parse request function so let's just grab this uh, signature for now and we will go ahead and paste it in to our custom dash router and this is what how we will plug into the request and I always like to import my fully qualified names at the top of the file and we actually want the functionality of the standard router to show up here so uh, this base class actually returns output so uh, which is just an array so let's go ahead and grab that we are going to create a new output variable and assign it equal to parent parse request and we will just pass in that request so this will just execute that parent method exactly how it appears so it will execute all of this code and we are just grabbing the output and then we would like to modify the output so this would return an array which is the uh, same signature that is returned on this request which is the output array and we will return output and what we can do uh, before this is outputted is actually just die out the request with dd and we'll pass an output and let's just inspect this in the front end to see uh, what sort of things we have access to on the front end of our site if we refresh the standard router still intercepts the request 
But if we type in a URL, some URL that doesn't exist, uh, we are going to get the output of that array. This is because at this point, the standard router didn't match the request. So it goes to the next router in the list, which is our number 40 dash router and the dash router responds to the request. And we'll see the module front name is some URL. So as our example, uh, let's say we have some test and then another slash and then another dash URL. Uh, you can see that it just populates. And if we add on another parameter, something else, that is actually the action name. So the module front name is the first part of the URL. The action path is the second part. And the action name is this third part. By default, Magento does support dashes in module front names. So we don't have to do anything with this. The problem is the action path in the action name. Uh, where we can't use dashes in the controller names. So these are the two properties that we need to hook into and let Magento know that when this symbol is detected in this part of the URL, translate it to a dash. So what we want to do, we want this to say another dash URL, right? Because that's how we are going to name our controller files. So let's go back to PHPStorm and what we are wanting to do is actually replace the output of action path with a new value that um, we need to check if it's set for first, because remember, if we go back to this URL and don't pass anything in, it will be passed over as null. So we have to check for the existence of this array property value. So we will use is set to check if output action path is set. If it is, uh, what we want to do is take uh, that name and actually swap out that dash with a um, with the actual name dash. So we can use str underscore replace. And this will we are replacing the dash with a the word dash and we are replacing it in output action path. And if it is not set, we will just again return null. So when we save this and go back to our front end and type in another URL, oh, I forgot to die it out. So let's go ahead and die out the output again so we can see how it looks and we'll refresh. And it says another dash URL now, which is exactly what we want. So it's allowing us to use that dash in the URL, but in the background, it translates it to another dash URL. And we will want to do the same thing for action name. So let's just copy and paste this entire block and use action name instead. And that will do the exact same thing. And believe it or not, that's about it we have our custom router working and uh, this should actually respond to request. So let's go ahead and create a new front end route at Etsy front end routes.xml. And I will create a routes XML file. And we will listen on the standard router because this will actually just fall back to our custom router, it allows us to use um, regular um, URL routes as well. But uh, let's name this my dash route. And we will just create this in the same module for now, just because we are testing it out. And so this will be accessible at my dash route. And we created a controller, or we will. Let's create an M2 controller. And this will just return a standard page. But let me output um, this with DD. It just says, um, my dash route slash index dash test. Uh, this will just output the URL if we hit it. Actually, it'll be slash index slash index dash test uh, since this is within the index directory. Um, so let's go ahead and test this out. We will go to my dash route slash index slash index dash test. And of course, nothing loaded. I probably have to clear my cache. Let's go ahead and do that with bin slash Magento cache.
flush. And I'll go back and refresh the page. And we hit our route, which means everything is working. We are translating this dash to index dash test, uh, all spelled out. And we can check the same with the controller as well. So let's actually rename this to another dash index. And I will rename this directory another index, or another dash index. And we'll have PHP Storm look for usages and update, which should update our namespace as well. And let's see if this responds. So if we go back to our route and add another dash index, it is still responding. Uh, so this is telling us that everything is working correctly and our custom router is now listening for dashes in the URL and responding to the request. After I created this module, there something actually came up that um, someone was asking if they can use other characters in the URL, which is really cool idea. So I actually just took this idea and I expanded it uh, to read for dashes, uh, periods, tildes, and underscores in the URL. So all of these will work and you can use them very similarly. Instead of just spelling out dash, you'd spell out period, tilde, or underscore, and you will be able to respond to the request. So you can look at this as sort of a, um, this module is available right on my GitHub at markshu slash magento2 dash module dash special router. Note how I renamed it. I was very short sighted in my thinking of dash router initially because I was just thinking about dashes. But uh, this is also a good example of how to think through naming your modules to make sure it's it's specific enough, but expandable enough in the future where you can uh, add in additional functionality and you don't need to change the entire name of your module. Uh, but you can download this or you can actually just go and check out the updated code as well, which is eerily similar to um, uh, what I uh, just showed you. But uh, I just made this little mapping and an array that maps the symbol to the name and then swaps it out. So it's actually very simple. Well, hopefully this uh, lets you know how some of the routing works in Magento and uh, hope it was really useful to you. If you found this video useful, be sure to tap that like button to support my channel. And if you're interested in other videos like this, be sure to check out my M Academy University, which includes access to campus. You'll get access to uh, answers directly from me, as well as uh, answers from everyone else in the community. And I also post additional lessons uh, just like this in campus. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Link is in the description below. Thanks a lot. Hope you learned something new.